Great episode of Hey Babe coming out. We get uh, into our lives on this one. Big we time. talk about our first long-term girlfriends in high school yep. and how those relationships panned out. Yep. Uh, you had a crazy one where you actually went to with your girlfriend to pick up her father yes, the from, day he was released. The day he was released. You'll hear about that. You'll hear about Sal's restaurant ideas. Uh, it's bread. It's butter. That's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah. um, we, we bust out accents as Jamaican. We have a ball of fun on this episode. Um, and yeah, we talk about all types of things. This is one of the only recent episodes we don't talk about time travel. Yeah, really. No, but this was a, these flew by today. These are good. This is going to be a fun one. You guys don't like this episode. You got the merch. You we know all about it. It's up on our websites. Check it out. And then, uh, Listen, what we got? If you, and if you don't like this episode, you take it up with Bloom Cafe. Take it up with, with Bloom, Bloom Cafe. Cafe. You'll get it. You'll get it when you watch. You'll get it when you watch this episode. You'll understand what that means. Especially while she's streaming on Netflix. July, we're in Providence. August, end of August, we're at the Bray Improv in California. And September 30th, Chicago Theater, ChrisDComedy.com. Tomorrow night, I'm in Hampton Beach Casino in Hampton, New Hampshire. Uh, and then the next day, I'm at Foxwoods. And the big one here, July, I'm at the Virgin Hotel, New Virgin Hotel, the theater there. You ever go there yet? No. That's supposed to be really cool. Beautiful. I, mean, I think it's they're getting into the comedy game over there at the Virgin. At the Virgin? Yeah, July Love 15th. It. Come by. Uh, Phoenix. July in Vegas? July in Vegas. It Ooh. should be real nice. Nice. Uh, how about this one? Next day I'm in Phoenix. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> July 16th at the Celebrity Theater. July 17th in Boulder, Colorado. And then the week after that, Portland, Seattle, and Vancouver. All in July. Come on out. SavileCanoComedy.com. And do us a favor, please, if you can, subscribe to our channel on yes. YouTube, the No Press channel. Follow us on Spotify. Rate us on iTunes. It's a big help. Uh, if you want to do something to help the podcast because you like it, we're not, you know, just do that for us. We appreciate it and uh, enjoy the episode. Uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. I'm, bringing I'm bringing sexy back. back. Yeah. Them, Them other boys, boys don't, don't know how to act. act. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think it's you're special what's behind your back. back. Yeah. So, so turn around and I'll pick up the slack. Yeah. yeah. Take, Take it to the, the bridge. bridge. Hey, babe. What's up, babe? What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm doing good and I'm having fun. I'm in a good mood. I'm energetic. I, 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 I you know, it's just I'm in a positive mood and that doesn't happen a lot. I just had, that was cooked uh, in your home. Yeah. Eggs, sp uh, spinach maybe. Uh, was it? Yeah. K tomatoes, green onions, Parmesan cheese, but it was a Parmesan cheese wrap that was folded oh. into the eggs. And then on top of that Parmesan cheese wrap, a wrap wrap, a regs wrap was folded on top of that. And I've had in my life, I would say if I had to guess... 5,000 egg sandwiches. Let's say I had 5,000 egg sandwiches in yeah, my life. Yeah, that, that sounds right. That one that I had was in the top three. It's top three out of 5,000. Out of 5,000. I'm willing. That to, good. I'm willing to tell you that one. Wow. Also, the bacon, egg, and cheese I had at Island Coffee Shop on Staten Island. Shout out Island Coffee Shop. That was pretty good, too. But that was in the top three. You see those new wraps that are made with, like, they're, like, wraps, but they're, like, a thin layer of, like, cheese. That's Because it's, had. like, a keto wrap or something like that? Yeah, something like that? like that, I suppose. I mean, is there... Who do you think... I mean, genuinely, do you think... Like, what do people hate more than bread in 2022? Hate? No, I know they love it, but I'm saying I... if the campaign against bread... If you're, if you're opening up a bread one. store right now today... You're finding a lose. No, but did everybody's you, looking for bread alternatives. Did you know that I wanted to open a, a bread store? I swear to you. Swear to you. Really? Yeah, it was, cool. was going to be called Bread and Butter, and I just wanted to serve bread and butter. All different types of breads, all different types of butters, mix and match, gourmet, fresh made, maybe have some beers. And some, your accountant talked you out of it? And maybe some ta maybe some like olives and stuff like Who that. Who talked but, you out of it? Basically, it's a place to go and just have the bread and butter and, and, have, a, and have a drink. Um, I, don't hate, I don't hate the idea. I... I I think I spoke to one of my friends who was a restaurateur about it. And I, he was like, Sal, it's a terrible I don't know idea. Why, why I netted out. I think I just didn't want to dedicate my life. To bread and butter? Yeah, I think I just... Because I, it's it was, one of those things where it's like, listen, 
you can get bread and butter here at my store or also in prison. It's the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is this. It's it's. But it, you know you know what I mean though, right? You go in and there's gourmet list of breads about, and a gourmet list of there's pairings and there's deals. You can get a flight of breads or something. So, so. Right. You get some wines. You get some some beers in there and may, maybe 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 some uh, like olives, cheese and fruit, like a little like a you know. But 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 mostly it's it's just the bread and the butter. I, I think it's the best food ever known to man. I think. What about this? What about if we combine ideas? What if the new menu item at Joey Rose's sandwich shop is just bread and butter? Blows your mind. Do you say, wait, there's nothing else on this? It's just, it's a toasted hoagie with butter. Yeah, well, they, they, he'll be called on a buttered roll, maybe. What? Do you think he has the stones to do that? To put a fresh baked loaf on there with just hot butter? Like I butter think, and melts, and then that's what you get? I think what Joe DeRosa lacks in shoulders, he makes up <laughs> in pure courage. Yeah, I that's think true. that's where, because Joe's courage is not in his shoulders. No, it's not. No, 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 no it's no. not in his shoulders. Yeah, Nothing's yeah. actually in his shoulders. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't even know how he lifts his arms. Uh, um, so, so, but I think bread and butter, it's an, you know what I would say too? You know what I think is happening now, starting to happen? is we've been given so many options in life for so long when we lived in a world where there wasn't that many options. Like when McDonald's first started, you could get a cheeseburger or hamburger. That's it. Go fuck right, yourself. Right. And then now there's been millions. It's too much. So now I think places that come back, that go with less options are doing better than with more options. Like even now I notice like on flights, it's less options. Uh, there's a pizzeria that opened up not too long ago. Less, you can get regular or pepperoni. Yeah. That's it. That's all they do is one thing. I kind of think that's coming back. So it might now it might not have been well, I think I think time is on your side. And I think that yes now it is. is the, yes, it is. I think now is the time to open up the bread and butter store because people I would like to go in there. If you told me, here's what you can get in my store. No thoughts. You come in, you get bread, you get butter, you get coffee. That's what you can get. Yeah. I would know. It's like it's like having a trainer at the gym. You don't have to think. Going into bread, butter, coffee's and coffee, good. same thing as having a trainer. Coffee's That's good. my trainer. I, I, I see. So I was uh, picturing it as more of a place that you can come to socialize and have and bread and butter or have conversation, grab a pint or something like that. But you're right. I don't want it to be like a breakfast spot or anything, but you're right. Just coffee, bread, and butter. But it's not a bakery. That's the thing. It's like you can buy loaves to Where go. Where are you getting your bread? You can buy loaves to go, but we're fresh baking that shit. Like right? Subway. Like we're, we're, we have like a, a you know, we, we fresh bake every day though. You know what's crazy? Like a baker. I guess you can go to a baker, a good baker and do this. One time I was at a Subway. I was at a Subway and, and you know, they're making their sandwich and the guy in front of me, like, you know, like, you know, says, you know, the guy's like, do you know, do you want mayo? Yeah. Relish, whatever. Yeah. And then the guy go, and then the, 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 the Subway worker says, oh, you know, would you like chips with that? He goes, yeah, I'd like my chips on the sandwich. And then I... No, I've never heard of that. No. I put them on myself, maybe. No. They did it. No, the worker. This is a, I wish I had video evidence of this. I, I only thought of it with the bread and butter. The worker then took a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos and just put the plastic bag on the guy's no. sandwich and started to wrap it up. No, I, no. I was like, did I just see that? <laughs> he just put the chips on the, and no. the guy was like... <laughs> yeah, no. And then I swear he wrapped it up, and then I watched the man go sit down, unwrap his sandwich, and take the bag of plastic bag of chips out of the sandwich, and then open up the bag of chips and put them on the sandwich himself. That's the crack squad of savvy personnel they're hiring over there at, Su at Subway. Subway. Yeah. When you go into a Subway, the problem is with Subway. First of all, I love to eat fresh. The problem is with the Subway though is I can never get the smell of Subway off my clothes. It's like going into a cigar lounge, mm. I like cigars. <laughs> I don't like what they do to my clothes. Yeah, I used to work at a deli, and I used to work in this, in, and that's it. You, you come home, I swear to God, you just smell like bologna. Where was the deli you used to, to work at again? Was it on the corner of Highland and- Yeah, babe, right Highland there. and what? Tompkins. Dude, you Convenient know, food mart, still there, 24-7. Okay, well, whoever the owner is, because that's where Bloom Cafe is. Bloom Cafe is right there. Bloom Cafe, I, I talked about it last episode, vegan, great oh, cafe. I it was all about you. On Island on Bay Street. Okay. It's on Bay Street. Uh, that deli- Whoever owns that, I part. There was the Staten Island. Uh, there was a five borough bike tour, so they had parts of Staten Island closed, and the street that I needed to get to, to go to Bloom Cafe was closed, so I couldn't park my car in front. Of, I had to park my car in that. They're not cool with that. Delhi's parking. You know line, why? And then quickly run across street. When I came out, the guy was like, "I'm calling the tow truck co tow truck company. Your car's about to get towed. You can't move." I said, "Where's the tow truck?" He said, "He's a few minutes away." I said, "See you later." He goes, "I have your license plate." I was like, "Good." 
Good. Give it to the tow truck company. Right, I'm, leaving. Right, right, right. I'm leaving with my food. Like right, right. I wanted to drive my car through that deli. Yeah. So that's happened. People have driven their car through it. Number one, and uh, like I, and we had it on security cam. Two places I've worked in my life, a car came through the front and just went smashed through a bar I worked at, and the uh, and uh, the uh, that convenience. Food neither store. time you were there. Neither time I was there. And neither time nobody died. Nobody died, and I have and I saw both of them on the security tapes. Wow. But. What happens is right behind that convenient food mart is a post office. And for 30 years, people have been parking there and going in the post office. And so so they, like, they've, had, they have, they've had enough with it. But the guy that works there now, I don't even know him. The guy, I, I knew the first owner. Yeah, this guy came out and started screaming at me. And I was just like, why, like, what kind of threat is that? Even if you were a police officer and you were like, don't move. The tow truck comes. Freeze! Coming, I would be like, you're on foot, dude. Yeah. You're on, then go to the trouble. Google my address. Just Google my ad. Uh, Google my. Uh, <laughs> How were you reacting to him when he said that? I literally were you just like. Were you also just like fuck off? Or were I you had, like, what I, are had you a, my I had an iced coffee in my hand, and then I had a vegan egg and cheese quesadilla, and one of those gluten free devil dogs in the other hand. And I was just like, "Are you serious right now?" And he was like, "Yeah, you need to wait here. You legally need to wait here." I called the tow truck. I was like, "Sorry, buddy." He was like, "Well, I'm writing down your license plate." I was like, "Good." I was like, "My license plate. It's 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 uh." It's attached to my mother's address, so you'll never find me. <laughs> so you could go arrest well, my mother. Yeah, what are they? What are they gonna? He's gonna make that call. Oh, what happens to you there? You should know what you should have did. You should have said this. Take it up with Bloom Cafe. <laughs> yes, I would have said that. Take it up with. Start a war. Start. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna start telling people to do that when I'm angry. To take it up with somebody else. Just say take it up with Bloom Cafe. To anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people go out are gonna go outside Bloom Cafe and go yeah. take it up with Bloom Cafe. Sir, uh, I didn't call Group One yet. I've only called people with children. I take it up with Bloom Cafe. I'm getting on go, the plane. Go into Bloom Cafe on Bay Street in Staten Island. Buy a uh, gluten free, dairy free devil dog, whatever food item you want. T- send a video, tag at Hey Bay Pod, and scream, take it up with Bloom Cafe. <laughs> and tag it, and we'll retweet the best ones. We but will. you have to buy their food. Oh, God. Uh, for no reason. We should, that just should be their new slogan. We should call them on the phone right now and be like, hi, we're two comedians, we're from the neighborhood, and we think your slogan should be, take it up with Bloom Cafe. What do you guys think of that? Speak, if I owned a place called Bloom Cafe, this is what I'd have the workers in a shirt like this. Doesn't this shirt say Bloom Cafe to you? It does. does it isn't absolutely a shirt a Bloom does. Cafe? I love your color story today. Thank you. What a nice palette. Company, the Roosevelt's, RSVLTF. You've shout spoken out to them before. They sent, I mentioned, I'm shouting them on Joe Rogan. Shout out Joe Rogan. If, you, if you're listening, we know that you are. Yeah, but he's watching. We, w- I Just wore like one Lewis. of their shirts. Uh, within the first 30 seconds of me doing the Joe Rogan show, Joe Rogan goes, that's the worst shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> I said, I said it's, it's the Roosevelt's. I love it. And then I shout out the Roosevelt's. And even though Joe Rogan said he didn't like the shirt, they sent me a package of their shirts because it's good fit. And I think they have good color summer schemes. Yeah, I, I think you look, it's a vibrancy coming off of you that you didn't have prior to wearing that shirt. Appreciate it. Now, Sal, let me ask you this. One, because, you know, I know we've talked about, I, I think a few episodes ago, we talked about psychedelics. I've been telling you I've been on doing edibles and things like that. Do you think there's a point in your life ever, do you think there's a point where you just, just to try, just to say you did it, cross off the, cross the list, would you do LSD angel dust? Never in my life. No chance. A billion I can get years. We were just talking about this a couple nights ago. Someone mentioned the word Molly, and I said, "Uh, uh-uh, because we looked up how Prince and Michael Jackson died because we thought it was the same way." Is it in fentanyl? Prince was took a Vicodin that was laced with too much fentanyl. That was laced with fentanyl. Prince, the I, I mean, the uh, 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 an icon on this earth, probably worth a billion dollars. He died from bad uh, bad drugs that he bought. Yeah, I mean that's that's like. That's what happens. That, you know? It couldn't have been official Vikes, right? Because no. official Vicodin from a company isn't going to be laced with fentanyl. So he bought... So why didn't anyone hunt him down the way they hunted down Mac Miller's folks and stuff? Maybe they maybe they did some street I did, justice. I don't know. I didn't hear nothing of it. But Michael Jackson died because his doctor prescribed him t- like a, a, a cocktail of shit. And then I heard that Michael Jackson, if his guy would have came in and just moved his head... He would have lived. Really? I, I think the way he was positioned made him die. I, this is what I read. So do you think he wanted to kill Michael Jackson? No, no, no. But I think it said it's like it's really this really re- weird thing that if the doctor would have come in and repositioned him from the way he was laying or something, he would have lived. Something crazy. Interesting. Do you think 
If they were still segregating cemeteries, would Michael Jackson be buried as a white woman or a black man? <laughs> it's, I, mean, I, don't know time, he was, I don't know where he was headed. If this was a period of time, do you think he's in heaven as a... What, do you think he, what race is he in heaven as right now? I think he's the race he was born with. Why did they remove Michael Jackson's brain? They removed his brain? Scientists need to remove the pop star's brain to finish his autopsy, and because it takes about two weeks for a brain to harden before it can be examined, if he's laid to rest before, then his body will have to be buried without his brain? Do you remember Is that exactly- what happens to anyone with an autopsy? Guess so. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you remember exactly where you were when Michael Jackson died? Like, I do remember I do. where I was when I was watching JFK and found out that JFK died. When I was watching the movie JFK and I found out JFK died, I remember where I was. Now. You didn't know he died until you saw the movie. No, no. Yeah. Uh, what, you, what year did he die? What year did Michael Jackson die? Go. 2009. That's correct. Yeah, because I was, I was had, uh, just beginning to do, like thinking about the idea of doing comedy, open mics. And I remember I was on my way. I was on, I think it was the Bad Slava website. I hadn't ever got on stage yet, but I was on my way to try to do my first open mic. And I was obviously very nervous. And I was and like, on my way to go to stand up New York. And I remember sitting in traffic and it blasted all over the radio, Michael Jackson dead. And I said, I can't take this right now. I can't do the open mic. And then I didn't try it again for about six months. No. I was looking for any excuse in the universe <laughs> to not have to do this open mic because I was so terrified. So when Michael Jackson died, I said, you did that for me. Yeah. Jesus killed Michael Jackson. So I wouldn't have to do the open mic at stand up New York. Yeah. And I've turned around and went home. Stand up New York, stand, <laughs> yeah. stand up New York was like, hey, you want to schedule you didn't show up what do you tell him michael jackson died no take it up with bloom cafe take it up with bloom cafe uh, michael jackson died uh, allegedly allegedly uh i don't remember like now i don't <laughs> <laughs> i <don't. laughs> pointed to a picture of him from thriller uh, i don't remember where i was when michael jackson died to tell you the truth but do you consider yourself a worse person for that i remember where i was when princess die died I remember why I, I was too. You know where I, I don't was? know why. I just because I distinctly remember waking up, turning on the television, and it was like this big thing. I remember. <laughs> I remember when Princess Diana died. I was in my stepmother's bedroom taking a nap. For some reason, I don't know why. My, well, my I guess my dad and stepmother's bedroom. But I was laying on my stepmother's side of the bed. I remember for some reason I, she had a nightgown and I was using her nightgown as, as a pillow. A, I think you're gonna say as a tissue. As a tissue, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was not right into her. Um, and and that's it was weird. I remember. I don't know why I remember that. Where were you when Princess Di died? I was at my first my first girlfriend's family's house, and uh, it was in the morning. And I just we turned on the television, and it was like the whole scene, you know, the helicopters and shit like that. And I was like, whoa. And you were you were at her family's house, her house, yeah, her house, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you guys doing? Well, I had just woken up. I had slept over. Oh, you slept. You were allowed to sleep over your girlfriend's house when you were a teenager? I know it sounds weird, but like my parents allowed it and her parents allowed it. In the same bed or you had to sleep on the floor? In the same bed. What? Yeah. What I, kind of parents did you guys have? I think that we were just two respectful kids. And like oh, the, so you didn't do any hanky panky. The parents anything. trusted us and you didn't we just, do anything. I think it was everything up. everything was on the up and up, you know, like How like, old were you? And when Princess Di died? 15, 16? I guess what was I 16, 15? That's crazy that a parents would let you do that cuz I know, I, I think- know it sounds weird cuz I would never in a million years do that, but we dated for like 6 years. No, no, no. Maybe it was a little later. Maybe it was like we were 18. No, listen, you're the type of boyfriend, you know, I have two daughters. I want my daughters to come home with a guy like you. Oh. I want my daughters to come home with a guy like you cuz I say I I'll say I can. This guy is a nice guy. He's a respectful guy. He's put together. He's successful. He's trustworthy, and he's, he's most successful. like. And he's most. Li- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say. I would say. I would say what was the last one? Would, and he's most likely gay. Uh, <laughs> so, so I would say this guy. This guy <laughs> makes me feel safe and good at night. So. <laughs> so. So I would say. Oh, uh, hold, hold! I was twenty. Oh, okay. Oh, so now, uh, so now, it, now it actually goes. Now it's actually like, what the hell were you guys sleeping? Because now it's like at twenty. Well, I guess at twenty you're still going to be living at home with. Yeah, I, I was living at home with my. With yeah, my I was. Mom. Yeah, you're right. You're right. September, this, October, this makes. I was sense three now. months before twenty one. But were you sleeping at a twenty year old, almost tw- on the verge of being twenty one year old? Were you sleeping 
Was it a basement apartment that she had? No, or no, were you sleeping was, amongst... Upsta upstairs in like her, her room. Their parents' bedroom was right next door. Yeah. She would wake up and have to use no, the no, same toilet. No, no, her parents' bedroom, bed, bathroom. bedroom was downstairs. It was just a small two-family house. And her two brothers' bedrooms were upstairs. Wow. wow. So you were sleeping next to her brothers? Well, in another room. But still. What? Yeah, but you understand. When I did we, you start dating this person? Fifteen. Did you have the sleep apnea mask yet? Not yet. Okay. Didn't get that till my mids. Twenties so or thirties. You did it six years. I think my late. No, I got that. You know when I got that shit? No, probably my late twenties. You did six years, fifteen to twenty-one. Yeah. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Did were you thinking about proposing to her? Yeah. Wow. I, I never told okay. you this story. No. I I had a whole proposal uh, arranged, guys. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly the high point of our academic careers. No. Yeah, I, I, you don't really learn it. You don't take it with you. But now, yeah. and I, it's one of my biggest regrets. You know, my grand, parents were Spanish-speaking. I took Spanish in high school. I got slightly conversational. I forgot it all, and yeah. I always regret it. You need to be, if you need to be one thing in this world, you need to be bilingual. You if you need to be one thing. If you're going to be bi, be bisexual, be bilingual. Boom. Now, thanks to Babbel, a language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language, whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or just... You know what? You want to brush it up in your free time. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Uh, and it, it is really fun. There's 15-minute lessons. Yeah. They make it really fun to learn on the app. It's a way they do it in a way that you actually retain it. Um, there's over 14 languages on there. You know they, what? I, and because all these other language apps, they use artificial intelligence, not Babbel. What Babbel does is they have language experts. They took over 100 language experts, and they created this app. So you're getting the dialect right. You get, you're really sounding like you're in. Real people are teaching you it. It's not a machine, man. It's not a textbook not about a machine. machine. It's not a machine, man. No. There's so many ways to learn with Babbel. Uh, in addition to the lessons, there's podcasts, games, video stories, and even yes. live classes. Scroll, Pimpy. Start your new language uh, learning journey today with Babbel. Uh, right now, you can do it on a plane, on yeah. the bus into oh, work. on the plane is the best. I love doing Babbel on the plane. Yeah. Right now, save up to 60% off your sub uh, subscription when you go to babbel.com slash heybabe. That's Babbel. It's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash heybabe for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. This podcast yeah. is sponsored by Better Help. Com. And if you're watching right now and you have some sort of thing plaguing you on your mind, bothering you, you're run down, you are fatigued, you have lack of motivation, maybe you're even depressed, and you want to speak to somebody, but you don't go to therapy, you don't, you're intimidated by it, BetterHelp is awesome because they, they connect you within 48 hours to an online professional therapist. And uh, because it's online, they, they can, you can reach place, you know, therapists that deal in special things that aren't even in your area. It's accessible. It makes every therapist accessible. Right. It does. It really does. <laughs> I literally, I was listening to you talk and I was like, in my head, I'm like, you know, I, I forgot to do my session today with BetterHelp and I felt like a little, I, I was wondering why I feel so disjointed today. And I'm like, oh, because I didn't talk to my, my therapist on Better at BetterHelp. I, I missed the appointment. So now I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to make an appointment for later today. They have plenty of people that can help you. And it's just that easy. It's all online. It's, you can even do a phone call. You don't have to go to an office. That's what's great. It's, if I miss my therapist appointment and I actually physically have to be in the room with them, then it's like, I got to wait for two weeks, blah, blah, blah. Now with BetterHelp. No, BetterHelp is customized all on therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash heybabe. You know we love them. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash heybabe. Try it out. Um, I didn't tell you. I never told you. I think I told you this, guys. The letter? I, yeah. Okay. I yes. did tell you. I didn't understand that yeah, yeah, yeah. were sleeping with her parents and her brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I wasn't sleeping with her parents and her brothers. Were her brothers nice to you or are they like, no, oh, no, don't, very nice. don't go near my sister? No, no. Her, bro her older brother was one year older than me. Her younger brother was a few years younger than me. I mean, we were families were close. Everything we dated for six, you know, it wasn't like that uh, thing. Did I ever tell you my first girlfriend story ever? No. Like girl, oh, virginity too and TBD, everything? no. So... The you know, we were, you know, hooking up, whatever. Like, I didn't ask any questions. I met her mom. I just assumed, like, her mom and dad were not together. Never asked. I don't know why. I was, whatever, 17, not asking any questions about a father. Yeah. 
So then she says to me once, because I had a car, she says to me one day, she didn't have a car. She goes, can you drive with me to pick up my dad? I want to meet, want you to meet him. And I was like, yeah, sure. We're dating for a couple of months. Right? I was like, great. And so we're driving there. And I was like, thought, I was like, where are we going? The airport, like his house. She goes, no, we're just going to pick him up. So we, thousand percent true story. We go, picked him up from prison. We go. I'm joking. No, no, no. I'm joking. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. joking. I'm, I'm joking. joking. Um, so we go to the Metropolitan Brooklyn Detention Center on Atlantic <laughs> Avenue. This is allegedly, allegedly. This is 2000, maybe the year 2000 or 2001. We go and she goes, just wait right here. I'm going to be like an hour. I have to sign him out. And I said, wait a second. <laughs> I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said, what do you mean sign him out? She goes, he's, he's in prison. He's, he's out now. And I'm going to sign him out. That and is. And we're going to take him to his halfway house. But you can meet him. I've told him all about you. Were you going to take him all the way there, though? And I said, I like that joke. That's I keep nice doing joke. all day. I'm not so. Full, full, are you going to take the full trip to the halfway house? I like it. Playing with words. I'm playing with words. Classic. Um. So I go, what? So she goes, yeah, he's a nice guy. And then I said to him, and I swear to God, I said, what was he in prison for? And she said, murder. <sighs> so he had been in prison for like 12 years. The lit, listen, first girl, great girl. Um, How old were you? Half, half Jamaican, half Italian. I was 17 or 18. Half Jamaican, half Italian. Very beautiful. What girl. a mix. Beautiful girl. How old are you? 17, 18. So she was around your age? Same age. So she, her dad went to prison when she was a, t- a tyke. Tyke. So, so I'm waiting there for 45 minutes, gets in the car, gets in the back seat. Okay. She gets in the front seat, gets in the back seat. And then I forgot. I mean, well, did you watch them embrace or something? Like, no, they're walking. I mean, the they mother embra- didn't go? No. No, they're divorced. Okay. The mom and divorced. Comes in, he sits in the back seat. I had, a toy, I had a Toyota Corolla. He gets in the back seat. I turn around. I said, "Hi, Mister." I don't want to give her away her last name. I said, "Hi, Mister, Mister H." And he goes, "Potato head, say it." And he goes, "He goes For story." I say, swear head. to God, he goes, "My doctor didn't tell me you was white." And I said, "I said, um, I, I am. I said, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm white." She goes, "My doctor didn't tell me she was fucking with no white boy." <laughs> No, <laughs> no. First of all, <laughs> I've never heard you do a Jamaican accent. Did I nail it it's pretty good? Pretty good. Thank you. Wow, Thank I you. didn't expect you to nail that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <Why? laughs> you sound like Jamaican mixed with something else. I can't place it yet, yeah. but I'll try. Like I'm a Jamaican Chinese. Because <laughs> um, you didn't tell me you was white. <laughs> <laughs> Story, but then I'm gonna have a request that after that you also talk Jamaican just to me. When it, yeah, like yeah, at any moment just say do the Jamaican. I'll yeah, say yeah, anything yeah, yeah. So she goes, yeah. So so I go, I go, yeah, yeah, I'm white. And she goes, me. I swear to God, he goes, he goes, me doctor no allowed to date no white boy. And then I was like, would you like a ride to your halfway house? You know, I can, I'll take you to the halfway house. He goes, he goes, me doctor and me gonna take the bus. And then you're turning I, Irish, but okay. sorry. And then, well, that's the thing with me. You can't have me go on too that's long. That's it. It's Jamaican Irish. Jamaican Irish. Yeah. So then I say to my girlfriend at the time, I said, what am I supposed to do here? And she goes, well, I'm going to go with my dad. And I was like, okay. I was like, you know, what you should have told the father when he said that she didn't, he didn't know she was dating a white. Why? Take it up at Bloom, Bloom Cafe. Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so wait, so you're now, are you, are you scared of the man? Or is he just, he looks like a regular fellow or does he look like, oh, this is a guy who's been mixing it up in there. He looked like, to be honest with you, he looked like a slight fellow, um, like slender okay. build, where I kind of was like at that point, like, I'll beat the shit out of this guy. Mm, he, but, but he's a, 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 a murderer, allegedly. allegedly. So I said, so she like left with him and they got on the bus. But his wife was white. This is, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. So then I remember she at that point had a beeper with no cell. With it. So I beeped her like whatever it was, two hours later. And she called me back from his house. And she was like, yeah, my dad said we can't really be together anymore 
And I was like, okay, like, you know, like, but like, I thought like we were in love and she was like, yeah, she was like, but you know, my dad said, uh, my dad said, we just, we, we can't be together anymore. And I was like, shh. I was like, yeah, but I, I, I love my, like, I like, I'm like in love with you. Right. And like, I lost my virginity to you or anything like that. And she was just like, look, he said, I'm not allowed to date. Uh, a white person, a white boy. Did she tell? Did she tell you to take it up with Bloom Cafe? Or? Huh? Did she tell you to take she, it up with Bloom Cafe? She's gonna tell me to take it up with Bloom Cafe. She might have, if she would have told you that, that would have been. But then what I did was then I said I'm gonna fix this, and then I showed up the next day to her <laughs> and her father's house with a do rag. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. Okay. No, but I did fight. I did fight, fight, fight for my right to party yeah. with her, and then I eventually was able to turn the father around. And begin to somewhat like me. Because Turn the dad no around. Man. Love to Ooh, hear yeah. Jamaican. Turn it We're upside down. down. Love, Love to, to hear prison in Jamaican. So what, how I got to get him to like me was because I was playing basketball in my high school, in my college. So I was playing in a men's league and he liked basketball. So I was... A, you know, decent basketball player and had a good jump shot. And I remember, like, he liked that. He was like, you can play ball. <laughs> <laughs> you got the jump shot. <laughs> yeah. But I remember we rekindled and he was cool with wow. that. But then eventually she broke up with me to date her ex-boyfriend. Really? Yeah, I got dumped for her ex-boyfriend who was, who was, who was uh, I think, like, he literally as Jamaican as he looked like he sounded like he was actively in the movie Cool Runnings right like right, right. full Jamaican uh, couldn't really he was speaking English but like not he was the in the Whalers yes yeah. he, was, he was in Cool Runnings and um and uh yeah her, her ex was John Candy and um <laughs> and, and, so, and so and so I remember but I remember that moment I, I've never told you that I remember that moment no. of him being like she didn't date no white boy yeah that's great yeah yeah but if I close my eyes that's what it is. I feel like you're a, a bobsled medalist, a qualifier, or whatever Could it was. Imagine being on the Jamaican bobsled. <laughs> Didn't you say you met them, Pam, the guys from the Jamaican bobsled team? Yeah, they were like used as like a decoration at a Hamptons party. Like right. they flew them out just to stand there with the medals in a certain like area of the party. And that's it, though. Yeah, it's just they like got, a, got flown home. They got yeah, an they appearance. Got yeah. You mean an appearance? You mean an appearance? Yeah, appearance yeah, yeah. isn't that the that? easiest way to make money? An appearance. Appe Believe that shit. But it feels appearances. so phony. I'll feels appear. So I'll appear there. Yeah. Pay me, I'll appear Have you there. done it? I've done appearances. It has to feel so awful. It felt like a... I, have I done appearances? Have I done appearances? I feel like I've done appearances. Speaking of speaking yeah. of appearances, you know who's reappeared? Fart jar girl. Remember the girl who used to fart in the jars? Yeah, and then she went to the hospital because she was trying to force out too many. out too many farts. Now, there's a girl, uh, the same girl, selling her boob sweat. For five five thousand dollars a day, she's making in boob sweat. Is she lying? No, I think that you. The thing is, what you would think these women are lying, but the thing is, is that it's all provable. Like they can prove it all. She also launched competition OnlyFans. She's deep in this world. She was what? A comp a competitive app with OnlyFans. Oh, she Got launched it. a competitive app. She did. Yeah, with OnlyFans. So she's deep in this. Well, world. dude, I have a friend. I obviously won't give his name, but I have a friend who worked. He was like a maintenance worker in the building she lived in. He said, you know, he had to go do maintenance in her apartment once. Like, air, I think he's an air conditioner guy. It broke. He said her apartment is insanely beautiful. It was only her that lived there, and all that was fart money. All that was fart money. You're kidding me. I swear to God. <laughs> he, she built a <laughs> yeah. fortress of, on farts. <laughs> the fortress of farts. <laughs> yeah. And so now, so I don't know what he said, and she moved out to get a bigger place after she had already, you know, like farted herself into the hospital. So now there's boob <laughs> sweat money. <laughs> yeah. And you know what else he She's told like, me? what else could come out of my body <laughs> you know that what I can else sell? He told me, which I don't know if I'm telling this, but again, I'm not giving away any name or <laughs> like I'm just his job. It could be anywhere. He said when they were cleaning our apartment, she had a bag of dildos. Like on the floor that she just left for them to find. Are you just serious? A garbage bag full of dildos. Wow. Yeah, that he said smelled like farts. Yeah, yeah. They gotta. Let me ask you a question. How much is a tit? How much is a tit sweat that you you can put it into a jar and sell enough of the tit sweat to make five thousand a day? I hear me out. Are you run on a treadmill for a half hour. How much tit sweat are you getting? I don't think my tits even really sweat that much. I know. Also, how is she? How is she getting this tit sweat in its into a jar? It, there can't be all. It can't be. That is also she, disgusting. She's, she's offered to come on, guys. We can we can ask her. 
What would you rather do? Put on my booger shorts or drink her tit sweat? Oh, my God. It's going to be put on your booger shorts. Put, put on them the on, you said, right? Just put, put them on. on. I can't drink. I can't drink tit sweat. Did you ever see the jackass where they get on the bikes, the yeah. stationary bikes, and they got tubes attached to their bodies, their asses, yeah. and then they're just doing, and then someone is at the other end drinking the sweat that comes off. The, jackass is disgusting. That one will make me throw up. Could you imagine they did a show switch once and you had to do an episode of Jackass and Steve-O did the Jokers? <laughs> Not at all. I wouldn't be able to do it. You wouldn't it. be able to no, get no through way. it. No way. I mean, even Eric Andre didn't survive the movie. Like, yeah. he got beat up on that set. Yeah. He was I'm, scared. I'm still waiting to watch it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a classic. The new one's great. Have you done Steve-O's? I'm supposed to do Steve-O's podcast. No, I've only met Steve-O once. He was the nicest guy, but yeah. I don't really know him besides that one interaction, which I doubt he remembers. All right, dude. True Bill. This literally, you've been seeing commercials. It's our new right fave. Now. It. I think it's my favorite, my favorite app I've ever had in my life. Because you know how many times I've just been on auto. Uh, every month it's been on auto pay yeah. for something I haven't used in months. Some yeah. things I haven't used in years. True Bill. What it does is you plug in your information. It removes you from all this stuff. It saves you so much money. Truebill got your back. They got your back. It's a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. I was in that boat along with millions of other people. They scam you. They scam you. you. Not Truebill. And they make it hard to find out how to cancel again, which I can't stand. And I downloaded this when they started doing it, and I I actually was able to cancel a few things. I canceled Peacock. God bless them. I canceled Peacock, and I also canceled an Apple game subscription that I had for eight months, and I wasn't playing it. My gym told me I needed... A letter from my doctor to cancel. I signed up on my true bill, canceled in Here's 15 minutes. Here's your letter. Minutes. Yeah. I said, take it up with Blue. Take it up with Blue Cafe. And your true bill, and the, the true bill, they have a concierge, and they're there for you. You talk to them, and they, whenever you need them to cancel, I want the descriptions you may have forgotten about, they do it for so you. So it's like you have a personal system. Imagine yeah. getting on the phone and be like, cancel all my stuff. Yeah. Hold my calls, cancel my stuff. Thank you. Yeah. True bill. And they have over 2 million users, and they've helped save them over $100 million. Matthew B. says, in a matter of <laughs> seconds, I saved $660 for the year on my direct TV bill. Saved $120 wow. for the year on my Sirius XM bill. Saved $840 a year on car insurance. So, wow, Ma- Matthew Matty B. B. is up 1600 in a few minutes. Matthew B. is doing good. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash HeyBabe. Go right now, truebill.com slash hey babe. It could save you thousands a year. Get canceled. Truebill.com slash hey babe. Ship station, baby. Listen, I like e commerce. We got to sell merch. We got to sell things. A lot of you guys have online companies out there. It's all about selling online today, baby. And ship station makes it perfect. You got to ship things out on time, properly. It's what customers love. ShipStation is trusted by over 100,000 sellers. It automates time-intensive shipping processes so you can get back to focusing on bigger things like developing new products, honing your marketing strategy, or interacting with customers. All those manual shipping tasks that eat up your time, ShipStation is awesome at those. Okay, so why why don't you let ShipStation handle all your shipping, handle all your handling, and you can get back to what you're good at, which is growing your business. And it works with every storefront, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, whatever you want to do, they got it. 98% of companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. Right now, using the promo code HEYBABE, go to ShipStation.com and you will get a free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code HEYBABE. Click on the microphone at the top of the page and type in hey babe. And you are going to get a 60-day free trial. You can't beat that. Ship station. Make ship happen. You see my eye twitching right now? It's the dryness of the allergies. Do you see it, though? Yeah. No, actually, no. You I don't, don't see This it. side right here. I don't. It's actively twitching right now. Can you zoom in on his eye, pimp? Do we see the twitch? Right. It's happening right now. At, tag at hey, babe. In, DM at hey, babe. Do you see his eye twitch? Hey, babe. Paybaypod at gmail.com. I feel it pulsing and twitching. I'm telling you, it's dryness in the eyes. And how much coffee are you drinking? Oh, are you drinking any caffeine at all? Probably Zilcheru. You drink zero cups of coffee? I mean, I drink coffee, but not every day. Like, I haven't had coffee in weeks. I don't know. What? Uh, maybe a cappuccino at dinner like a week ago or something like that. You don't have to function with coffee every day of your life? No, never, ever. ever. Pimp, do you? Oh, yeah. Addicted I, to coffee. I need it. Yeah, I need it all the time. <laughs> You've never in your life got addicted to coffee. No, never, ever, ever. But isn't that bad? Because once you do, then you need it, right? 
I mean, that's what addiction is, but I just mean like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I probably, one of the reasons I don't is like, I don't want to, first of all, I could drink, I'm a guy who could drink a cup of coffee and go to bed while I'm drinking it. Oh my. So I don't know if it, maybe because I just, I never felt those effects from it per se. Maybe if I pay more attention or I drink a lot of coffee, I might feel it, but I never did. But also like, I don't want to be that guy that needs one every day. Otherwise I'm like, I don't want to before I had my coffee. I talked to you about the little thing I saw about what that guy did with 90 days, no caffeine, right? Did I talk about that? No, I don't think Already? so. No. So the guy, this guy, Michael Pollan, Michael Pollard or something, he was on, uh, the Rogan show. That's where I saw him first. And then I followed him. He didn't drink coffee for 90 days, 90 days, zero coffee. And he said, he, he's a guy, he's, he's known for trying every drug, microdosing every drug known to man, everything from cocaine, mushrooms, fentanyl, weed, just everything. Microdoses it. Okay. And then I, lift I think, heroin. Isn't fentanyl just a poison? No, fentanyl, fentanyl is a thing that's used in for, um, uh, uh, like you get put to sleep on it. Like fentanyl is a, is a didn't come out of nowhere. That's a medically right, but that's not, used by doctors. Yes, but it's not a drug that people trip on. No, 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 no. It's a medicinal use. Okay, people take it outside of that and then die. Okay, but yeah. So, so this guy, what he said was though, after ninety days of no coffee, yeah, he said it was the hardest drug that he ever, uh took uh got off in his life he said when he drank that first cup of coffee after 90 days it hit his body harder than any drug that he's abstained from hit his body he said the thing is with caffeine he goes there's a world pre and post caffeine he goes pre-caffeine everybody kind of walked around a little buzz everyone had a little bit of alcohol in them even kids would drink like hard cider because the water wasn't clean so everybody had a buzz he said and then caffeine comes into the world around like the late 1600s and then everybody is on caffeine and coffee kind of all the time, always. He said, you don't really know. 1600s. The late 1600s when caffeine. That's when coffee was around? Yeah, coffee. So there was a guy like, I'm not beheading anyone until I have my coffee. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, even the beheadings and the hangings and how people, you know, like in the ancient world, like you'd be like, how could they do this to people? Most of them were blackout drunk. Okay. That's a real thing. Even kings and queens, blackout drunk when they're beheading people. Oh, wow. Because they're just, that. that's what, they didn't, the same way they didn't realize that they were drunk because they didn't have a wasn't the science there was yet wasn't there yet we don't realize how over caffeinated we are that like me I've had three cups of coffee this morning whatever the baseline me is isn't on this podcast right wow now. I'm caffeinated me so wow. you so she said he said the people who never got addicted to caffeine in that way are the closest versions to who they actually are well I am sluggish quite often yeah yeah that's who you're supposed to be yeah. A sluggish. Uh, well, we're all supposed to be a little sluggish. Yeah. Because caffeine, what happened, it really came out big in the Industrial Revolution when you needed to hyper focus on a piece of machinery or whatever, you pl- pressing all these levers. Where in the mid, 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 medieval times, you could kind of be drunk because all you're doing is like plowing a field. Sure. You know, your feet and you can be a drunk <laughs> idiot, but you can't be drunk operating. That's machines. fascinating. I never really thought of it that way. Yeah. So that that's guy. So, so they he, were they were all alcoholics. You think? All. It, it was common for children to be drinking hard cider at like nine. So everybody had a little bit of buzz because the water wasn't safe to drink. If you drank the water, you can get a, you know, a parasite that would kill you. Right. Yeah. But alcohol was cleaner and safer. It was boiled. It was right. Cause it was right. Right. Yeah. It was uh, fermented. Fermented. So, so distilled. Yeah. Well, maybe distilled. not distilled back then. So is there, is there any uh, YouTube videos of drunk children? Does that happen? Like that's good. Like, I, I, I don't like know if I've ever FBI seen a drunk, watch list a drunk kid. <laughs> Eight-year-old boy served alcohol root beer at TGI Fridays. No, but alcoholic root beer. Wait, what? Like, I, I don't know. Like, have you ever seen like a kid drunk oh, by child accident? Who's addicted like to a kid got into the liquor cabinet and he puts it on YouTube. Or and a kid took edibles by accident? Drunk nine-year-old scooter kid at skate park? Oh, God. This might just be clickbait. I mean, I've seen it in real life. I've seen it like house parties gone wrong. A, a kid, a kid, a drunk kid, but not well, a I've child. Seen, like, child. An eleven-year-old, really? Seen, like, an eleven-year-old, like really out drunk. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, it's that's really creepy. wild. Yeah. It's creepy as fuck. Uh, oh man, I don't know. You yeah. ever see that movie, Good Boys? Yes. Is that with um, uh, Team Edward, or that's Joyride? Joyride is a, a a thriller about a truck driver that's murdering people. Good Boys is about sixth graders in their summer. No. <laughs> 
Jacob Tremblay is in it. Who's yeah. Jacob Tremblay? He's he was in the movie. Um, he was in that movie. Uh, like uh, he won like an Academy Award or something. What's the movie won an Academy Award for? It was he got kidnapped him and his mother and they kept him in a in a in a garage. Oh yeah, yeah, it's that, called like Home or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that movie was sick with um yeah. with the girl who played uh Miss um Cap no not Captain America. What'd she play? Yeah, yeah. Who's that? What's that actress? She's play? a big actress. She's a huge actress. Yeah. What did she play? Captain Universe. Well, I sound like my mom right now. She's like, what did she play in? Who's the actress who played in the Room? Not Home. Room. Yeah, yeah Brie Larson. Name? Brie Larson. So that's Jacob Tremblay as a, like a younger kid, right? This movie was crazy. This movie was nuts because it could really like happen. That's, it was crazy. But in the in the Good Boys, yo, you didn't watch Good Boys? I didn't watch it's Good one Boys. of the funniest comedies in like the last 10 years, dude. Really? It is so funny. I'm going to watch it tonight. So they're all in like fifth grade or whatever. And the kid's like, I, you won't. One of the bullies is like, you won't come to dr- drink a beer. He's like, Look what I got! I stole a beer. So they go into the woods, and like the the bullies like testing the other kids, and like there's like the the bully kids, and then the, the him and his nice good boys. So they crack the beer, and he's like, "I feel it already, right?" They're like they're passing one beer around, and they're all like sipping it, and it's like, "Whoa, me too!" And they pass it to him, and he like is scared to just sip it, so he like fake sips it, and he goes and he goes to hand it to his his friend. He goes, "It's hot." <laughs> 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 it's so funny. So it's funny. like not a kids. It's like a, it's like a, it's kids are. I think, the stars, it's, a, I think it's more it's a like rated adults. R. I think it's a rated R uh, comedy. Who, who directed Isn't it? Isn't it Seth Rogen? Uh, this dude, I know who directed it too. Oh, man, Super I tried Dead. to connect with this guy. Uh, I forget. Yeah, he wrote it and directed I gotta see it. Good Boys, dude. It's so. There's a lot of funny. movies like this that I just haven't seen. Like I haven't seen Pineapple Express. Oh, that was good. I haven't that seen was Good fun. Boys. I no, haven't seen yeah, the Lee Eisenberg. Yeah, that's him. The Godfather. That's him. He, he, you know, you know what he did? He was a big Office guy in the Office. I think he was like an exec producer or like a like a big writer on the Office. Lee Eisenberg. Lee, yeah, that guy right there. Is he Catholic? He, it's you know, I don't, I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Could be. Um, convert. Uh, Keith L. Williams is a child actor, though. Keith L. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's okay. just... He, the first three kids of the child. Kids, actors. okay. Oh, I met that kid there, I think, too. You know Will Forte was never in SNL? Did you think he was, like, part of the cast of SNL for years? Do you think Will Forte was in SNL? For years. I know he was. No, no, no. Then, then somebody else you think was in SNL and they weren't. <laughs> it's somebody else. Um, there's Who's like Will Forte? Bill Hader? John. No. John Krasinski? No, Google Will. F- who's like people think Will? This guy was you, on SNL and he wasn't. You definitely sound like my mom now. Google pe- this guy. Everybody thinks this guy was on SNL, but he wasn't. Uh, uh, people think this guy was on SNL, but he wasn't. No, oh god, no, come on. Who? Everybody. Th- it's like it's like one of those things. Jim Carrey. Where- no, it's like one of those things like in the ma- like it's a glitch in the matrix thing, like how you know when you oh, think the, 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 like the thing the we looked up with the Berenstain Bears. Bears. Yeah, like Berenstain Bears thing. It's like this, like this guy was never on SNL. Who is it? Who's like he's like I know, Will Forte. I know, I know what you mean. He, oh, and he looks like Will Forte. It's uh, not Jason Sudeikis because I know he's on SNL. Okay, yeah, I, I now he it's looks gonna like bother Will me. Forte. Google who looks like Will Forte. It's yeah, yeah. Who reminds uh, you of Will Forte? It's a guy, he's funny, he's in a bunch of movies too. Who is McGoober? Will Forte. Fuck. McGruber. It's, yeah, I know what you mean. I feel like I know what you mean. It's a guy when you're like, he was in no, SNL no, for years. Was he on it a lot? So he's a big enough celebrity to have hosted it a lot? Maybe. Why do we associate him with SNL? Because he had to have hosted Cause it. Because he looks like Will Forte. Like Paul Rudd? No. Who looks like Will Forte? Did you Google that already, Pimp? I did, yeah. Shit. I, I'll literally kill I, myself right what about, now. What about on the podcast? Don't do it. Don't do it. What about I o- put in? I always thought this guy was on SNL. Maybe that's how people talk. Am I gonna have to take it up with Bloom Cafe? Take it up with Bloom Cafe. Um. Wait, Steve what? Martin? No. God, was, who was Steve Martin on SNL? Everybody no, thinks this host. guy was on SNL. Damn it! Hold on. Hold on. Hold Benedict on. Cumberbatch. <laughs> Ollie Berry. Who, who, who reminds you? Who's you? The internet. <laughs> who, 
Who is it? <laughs> Isn't there an app that you go? Oh, oh, oh! Is it Martin Short? No, he was on us. Who? Who is the brother in 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 uh, Blades of Glory? Who's the t- John he- Heater? The kid from Napoleon Dynamite. Dynamite. No, 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 no. Adam no. Scott. No, no, no. Adam Scott's a good guess, though. Hold on, hold on. No, <laughs> that's Seamus. Uh, <laughs> Will Arnett. Will, Will Arnett. Arnett was never on SNL. I know that everyone knows that. Oh. That's who you really believe? I thought Will Arnett was Will Forte. Okay, oh, I see it. I get, I get, I get it. They're both named Will. You don't think when you look at Will Arnett, you're like, I know he was on SNL. No, I, I well, only because I'm very familiar with Will Arnett. So maybe that's why I knew that. How familiar are you? What? How familiar are you? Can we've you been, say it on we've camera? Been, we've been up, out downtown and uptown. Wow. Yeah. So you know Will Arnett personally? No. I was going to say, I want to send him a voice note. I'll be like, I thought you were on SNL. I'd love to have him on the show, man. Oh, my God. Let's get Will Arnett in a hologram on the show. Can you re- remind me of that? I'm going to see if he can be on the show. David Cross was just on the show, speaking of. Oh, you're talking about a practical joke because I thought you were talking about Hey Babe. I was oh, like, oh, I would did love- I miss oh, the David God. Cross episode? Hey Babe would be amazing. Yeah, Will Arnett. You, do you know he hosts a show? It's on Hulu. I guess it was on Fox, maybe, about like Lego competitions. Who does? Will Arnett. Will Arnett does. Yes, it's it's the, the Lego sh- Masters. Yes. Dude, I watched two straight seasons of this shit during the choir. It wow. is it is blow your balls off amazing. What channel Teams is it on? Teams of did you two. Say? I watched it on Hulu, but Teams of two. Teams of two people that are experts in Lego have like it's over days. Like they'll be like, "All right, this is the theme today. Go ahead." There's a, there's a room full of a billion Legos, and they go, "You have twelve hours to build this," and they build it over twelve hours, and then they all judges judge theirs and compete. Some of the, can you just put Lego Masters and hit images on some of them, dude? You can't believe what they build. You cannot believe it. It's 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 unreal. It's stuff you like. It's it's. It, it, it's that's there's things that move there's like literal robots it's insane look see that thing that was a shark breaking through it like look at they that they made that out of legos yes yo y'all crazy like that look like look at that like that's a, look at that i mean it's, it's just insane dude they are crazy that's yo. like did you see you see the new um movie that's coming out um uh that uh who, who's why am I blank on his name? Key and Pe- the Jordan Peele yeah. movie. Oh yeah, the new horror movie. Or it is. It's so funny. It's like a horror movie, and it's like it's 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 like he it, can't miss that guy. Well, he can't miss. It's like you know, it's like a predominantly like all black cast, and it's like it's like a it's like a scary movie where it's like just like shadows, and it's like crazy movie. I saw it coming tractions for it. It's like crazy movie. Um, you know, like there's just like sounds in the distance. It's horrifying, and the name of the movie is Nope. That's the name <laughs> yeah, of the movie. Nope. He goes, yes. nope. Yeah. nope. I saw That's the trailer. So, I was like, such nope. Such a hilarious name for a movie. Yes, yes. Nope. Absolutely. Yeah, I was yeah. dying laugh. I, I was at the movie theater seeing that movie, The Northman. Like, actually went to theaters, and it was an audible laugh out loud when, when, nope. that, when the name of the movie was Nope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, is, is Lil Rel in it? Dude, Lil Rel is in every movie I watch now. He's in every single movie, Lil Rel. Shout out Lil Rel. Shout, get Lil Rel on the show. I would love to have Lil Rel on the show. Get Lil Rel on the show. I love Why it. Why not? I, uh, what do you gotta do to get Lil in front of your name? Just tell people. I think if we start, if you start right now, if you like, yo, Lil Chris, me, Lil, if you said call me Lil <laughs> Sal, if yeah. you literally said call me Lil Sal, we call you Lil Sal, Lil Sal. And I think at first I'd be like, oh wow, it's weird, Sal's kind of you know going crazy. Or if I said call me Lil Chris, but then after a, a couple of weeks, I'd be Lil Chris, you'd be Lil Sal, Lil Pimp. We should have different personas when we talk as Lil Chris, Lil Sal, Lil Pimp. <laughs> like maybe it's just like an alter ego. You know what the perfect persona for Lil Chris would be? Jamaican. Oh, yes. Lil Chris in the house. Lil, that, well, you know I'm Lil Chris, and I say, what up, Sal? How you doing, Bumba Clock? Yeah, Lil Chris, do me a favor. We'll see you again next week, but why don't you sign off? That been hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the first word you said? That been hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs>